Michael, could you just give us an update squad-wise? Any injuries, any concerns? No, none at all. Um, it's been a good week, three days. Boys have worked really well. Um, with one or two will just sit out this, this morning. We're training later on this evening as well at Windsor Park. So let the boys obviously see the new pits, the new surroundings. Um, so no, no concerns regarding uh, Saturday. Just on the new pitch, it'll be your first competitive game there. Uh, the pitch playing brilliantly. It seems like it's made for a Paddy McCourt. Remember what he did the last time against the Ferros? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen the pitch to know who it's made for yet, to be honest, Mark. You know, I've, I've, um, we'll get the players on the pitch tonight, and um, they, obviously they'll get a chance to surround it. Obviously, it's slightly different with uh, the reconstruction and, and the development of the stadium now. But it's a great pitch for anyone to play on, you know. As I say, they've done a lot of attack and play this week, and the players, as I say, are on a positive mood. Two brief ones for me, and finally, Paddy McNair, what's the state of play? And Billy McKinley, your, your former assistant, what's the state of play there? I mean, there's no change. Paddy obviously was called into the squad um, on Sunday. It was always really in my intention to do that, but unfortunately he's not been able to join up due to a hamstring injury that he, he felt really later on Sunday evening after the game. He was assessed by Manchester United on Monday, and uh, they estimated uh, sort of time of recovery is three weeks, so obviously that rules him out for us. Billy's situation is, is, hasn't changed. You know, Obviously it's very unfortunate what happened to him. Um, Stephen and Jim have stepped up this week and done a fantastic job with the players, so as I say, our focus is on the game now. Uh, Paddy McCourt, Michael, um, there's there's a bit of sort of speculation that you might have a key role for him this weekend. Is that in your mind? Well, the speculation has come from the fact that he's in the squad. It's come from others, not from myself. You know, as I say, um, we all know Paddy's a very talented player. Um, he's taken a little bit longer, as I said, at the outset to get his club situation sorted out. But he's looked fit since he's come into the squad. And as I say, when I pick a squad, I pick it in mind that everyone has something to contribute, and you know, Paddy's no different from anyone else. Kyle Lafferty obviously starred against Hungary. Um, how, how have you kept that? How do you plan to keep that momentum going with Kyle? And how key will he be this weekend? Well, you know, we all know what Kyle's capable of. He showed that particularly out in Budapest. Um, and you know, as I say, Kyle, you know, it's just about you know his focus and making sure he's ready to play. And he has been great this week. He's come in. He's very positive. I think uh, obviously we expect a big performance, not only from him but from all, the, all everyone that we, we, we put on the pitch. You know that's the requirement, uh, the preparation for the four or five days we, we're here is designed to get to give the team, you know, the best opportunity to perform. And uh, you know, I don't like to put uh, any added pressure on players. You know, Kyle's a key point focus or a key part of this squad and of this team. But there's many players that are uh, in a similar sta um, standing.